So welcome to sampling theory. Here you will learn the basics of sampling theory. This is a part of engineering mathematics and college mathematics. You will learn what is a random sample and how to calculate a random sample with or without replacement. You will also learn how to calculate the mean and variance of the sampling means. So we'll just go through a few basics first. A large collection of numerical data is called is the universe and a finite subset of the universe is a sample. So a sample is a finite subset of the universe. And what is sampling? Sampling is the process of selecting a sample from the universe. The selection of an item from the universe in such a way such that each has the same chance of being selected is called random sampling. And what is random sampling with replacement? Sampling where a member of the population may be selected more than once is called sampling with replacement. If a member cannot be chosen more than once, it is sampling without replacement. And what is simple sampling? It's a special case where the trials are independent and probability of a success is constant. Now suppose from every sample of size n, we group characteristics such as mean, standard deviation, etc. And suppose we group these characteristics according to their frequencies. The frequency distribution so generated is called a sampling distribution. So we can have sampling distribution of the mean, standard deviation and so on. And what is a normal distribution? The sampling distribution of large samples is assumed to be a normal distribution and the standard deviation of a sampling distribution is called the standard error. And what is precision? Precision is the reciprocal of the standard error of the standard error. Now consider a random sampling with replacement. The mean mu x of the frequency distribution will be equal to the population mean mu. So mu x is the mean of the frequency distribution. So for a random sampling with replacement, the mean of the frequency distribution will be equal to the population mean. And the variance sigma squared x of the sample mean will be equal to sigma squared by n where sigma squared is the variance of the population. So this is the relation connecting the sample mean with the population standard deviation, sample standard deviation with the population standard deviation. Sigma x bar is the standard error of the means. So for a random sample without replacement, mu x bar is mu, that is mu sampling mean equal to mu and sigma x bar squared will be c times sigma squared by n where C is capital N minus N by capital N minus 1. Capital N is the size of the entire population and N is the size of the sample and the C is called the correction factor. Now, If N is very large then C tends to 1 and the correction factor can be omitted. So we will go through a few problems. A population has 5 numbers 2, 3, 6, 8, 11. Consider all possible samples of size 2 which can be drawn with replacement. Find the mean and standard deviation of the population. So mean will be you add all this 2 plus 3 plus 6 plus 8 plus 11 by 5 which is 6. And sigma squared is 1 by n summation i taking value 1 to 5 xi minus x bar squared. This is the formula for standard deviation of variance. So this is 1 by 5, 2 minus 6 the whole squared plus 3 minus 6 the whole squared plus 6 minus 6 the whole squared plus 8 minus 6 the whole squared plus 11 minus 6 the whole squared. So this will be 10.8 or sigma is square root of 10.8. The second part find the mean and standard deviation of the sampling distribution of means. This is with replacement. So here you are taking samples of 2. That's what is given. Consider all possible samples of size 2. So here you get a capital N equal to 5 and small n equal to 2. It's with replacement. So you have capital N raised to N that is 5 squared 25 samples. So they will be 2, 2, 2, 3, 2, 6, 2, 8, 2, 11. Then I have 3, 2, 3, 3, 3, 6, 3, 8, 3, 11. Likewise you go on. 6 with all 2, 3, 6, 8, 11, 8 with 2, 3, 6, 8, 11, and 11 with 2, 3, 6, 8, 11. So the mean of 2, 2 is 2. Mean of 2, 3 is 2.5. So for each one, this is the mean when you calculate it. And now we have a table with x bar and the frequency. 
how did we get fx bar there are this only one two appears only once 2.5 appears twice so we have created a table of frequency distribution of the means and from this we can calculate mu x bar by using the formula summation fx bar by summation f so mu x bar will be 6 and sigma x bar squared is summation f x bar squared by summation f minus mu x bar squared this is the formula for sigma squared so when you simplify you get it as root 5.4 this is the standard deviation for samples without replacement, find the mean and standard deviation of the sam sampling distribution of means. For samples without replacement, we will have 5C2, that is 10 samples. So that will be 2, 3, 2, 6, 2, 8, 2, 11, 3, 6, 3, 8, 3, 11, 6, 8, 6, 11, and 8, 11. So the mean of each of this is 2.545, 6.5, and so on. And if I calculate the mean of this, this will be 60 by 10, which is 6. And again, sigma x bar squared, you'll use the formula here, 1 by n summation xi minus mu x bar the whole squared. That is 1 by 10, because n is 10 here, 2.5 minus 6 the whole squared plus 2 minus 6 the whole squared and so on. So this will become 4.05. So sigma x bar is square root of 4.05. This is 2 here. Just make a note of that. And this is how you get it with replacement and without replacement. The next problem goes something like this. A population consists of four numbers, 3, 7, 11, 15. Find the mean and standard deviation of the sampling distribution of means by considering samples of size 2 with replacement. For samples without replacement, verify that sigma x bar squared is sigma squared by n capital N minus n by capital N minus 1. This is similar to the earlier problem. So mu in this case will be 3 plus 7 plus 11 plus 15 by 4 which is 9 and sigma squared using the formula will give you 20. So first we take the samples with replacement so we get 3, 3, 3, 7, 3, 11, 3, 15 likewise with 7, with 3, 7, 11, 15, 11 with 3, 7, 11, 15 and 15 with 3, 11, 7, 15. So the sampling means you will calculate mean of this each is 3, 5, 7, 9 and so on. And frequency distribution of the sampling mean, so if I write this as x and f, mu x bar will be 9 and sigma x bar squared will be 10. So sigma x is square root of 10. For samples without replacement, the pairs will be 3, 7, 3, 11, 3, 15, then 7, 11, 7, 15 and 11, 15. So there are totally... Uh, 3, 4, 5, 6 here and the sampling means mean of the each will be 5, 7, 9, 9, 11, 13. So mu x bar is 9 which is equal to mu here. Sigma x bar squared if I use the formula 1 by n summation xi minus x bar the whole squared. You get 20 by 3 and sigma squared by n into capital N minus n by capital N minus 1. This is sigma x bar squared. It will be 20 by 3 capital 4 minus 2 by 4 minus 1 3 so you get 20 by 3 and sigma x bar squared will be in this case sigma squared by n capital n minus n by capital n minus 1 so we have verified this formula for sampling means without replacement so this is just giving you a basic idea of sampling so stay tuned in for my next video which will follow shortly thank you and do join my channel thank you